Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. This is part one of a two-part investigation on the mole. Scientists use measurements that are derived from the SI, or standard units of measurements. Standard units allow scientists to collaborate worldwide. For example, the standard unit of time is the second, and the standard unit of length is the meter. The focus of this video is the standard unit to measure the amount of something. It's called the mole. So what are we going to learn in this video? First, we will look at the numeric value for the mole. Then we will see what a mole looks like for different substances. The mole is a unit that works much like the unit dozen works. Dozen is a grouping of 12 things. So two dozen eggs is the same thing as 24 eggs. We use these kinds of grouping units when we are dealing with large quantities. Since atoms and molecules are so small, they come in extremely large quantities. So a mole represents a lot of things. Precisely, the mole is a grouping of 6.02 times 10 to the 23 things. So two moles of eggs would be the same thing as saying two times 6.02 times 10 to the 23 eggs. This works out to 1.204 times 10 to the 24 eggs. But we really only use moles to measure really tiny things, like atoms and molecules. Here's a whole mole of water molecules. It doesn't really seem like that much water though, because water molecules are really, really small. But still, this is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 water molecules. And actually, that's a bit weird to say. And instead of saying number of water molecules, we usually use mass when describing amounts of liquids or solids. A mole of water has a mass of 18 grams. That's 18 grams per mole. And here's a mole of sugar. Sugar is a completely different molecule, and it's way bigger than a water molecule. So 6.02 times 10 to the 23 sugar molecules has a mass of 342 grams. That's 342 grams per mole. What about a gas like carbon dioxide, CO2? Well, CO2 is matter just like sugar or water is matter. So CO2 has mass. But gases are kind of hard to measure with mass because, well, they're, they're gases. Instead, we usually measure gas with volume. And there's something really cool about gas volume and the mole. The volume of a mole of gas at standard conditions is the same no matter what kind of gas it is. One mole of a gas is equal to 22.4 liters. That's 22.4 liters of CO2 would be the same as one mole of CO2. So let's make 22.4 liters of CO2 and see what it looks like. First, we'll get some Alka-Seltzer tablets and some vinegar. These substances will react with each other to produce CO2 according to this chemical equation. We're gonna capture the gas in a balloon. 22.4 liters is actually a really large volume. So we'll need to use this extra large balloon. To make a mole of CO2, we'll need 44 Alka-Seltzer tablets and 660 milliliters of vinegar. First, we'll break up the tablets so that they'll fit inside the balloon. Next, we'll pour the vinegar into a narrow mouth bottle that the balloon can fit over securely. Now we'll attach the balloon and shake the tablets into the bottle. Make sure you hold on tight. If your balloon doesn't create a good seal, you can use an elastic band to create a better seal. It will probably bubble a lot and some of the vinegar might go up into the balloon, but that's okay because as the reaction slows down, it'll all drop back into the bottle. It'll probably take a while for the reaction to go to completion. So keep shaking it up so that the reactants can stay in contact with each other. Once the bubbling stops, carefully tie the balloon so that you don't lose any CO2. There we go, that's a whole mole of CO2 gas. Now, by the way, CO2 is kind of heavy for a gas. A mole of CO2 has a mass of 44 grams. That's 44 grams per mole. And a mole of air has a mass of about 29 grams. This balloon is full of CO2, and this balloon is full of air. The balloon full of CO2 is 1.5 times heavier than the balloon with air. Check out what happens when I drop them. 
So in this video, we learned that a mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 things. And a mole of different substances will look different because every molecule and atom is different from one another. Thanks for watching.